Hi, I'm Paris, and I was excited to find a new Vicks Vapo product in the cold and flu aisle of my supermarket. I've reviewed the Vapo patch, the Vapo shower. Well, now it's the Vapo bath. Vicks Vapo bath crystals go for about $8. You can find out more about them at the link down below this video. They contain the ingredients of that famous Vicks Vapo cloud that clears out the sinuses so well, menthol, eucalyptus, and camphor. And the instructions are to take two capfuls, about three ounces, sprinkle it into the warm running water as you're drawing a bath, and then fill up the bathtub about halfway and climb in. But don't get any of this in your mouth or in your eyes. Let's open it up and see what the smell is like. Now, I'm excited to try this. I'm not a big bath person, but I'm thinking, oh, okay. Oh, I'm getting the smell already. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the smell. Oh, they got it. They got it 100% on this one. <laughs> Wafted right into my eyes. As I was saying, I'm not a big bath person, but I think it would be really cool to not only have the effect of a big pool of warm, steamy water full of this and sitting in it, but when you get out of the bath, I imagine you're gonna be sort of coated with some of this if you don't rinse it off. And so you could put on the pajamas, get in the bed, and you would be like having your whole body covered in Vicks Vapor Rub. Now my guess is the Vapo bath isn't gonna create any bubbles, and I would prefer a bubbly bath, but let's go test it out, and see how it works. Let's get the warm water flowing and start sprinkling. Here's the first capsule. I see any effervescing or bubbles. Just a few seconds later though, and boy, can I smell it. Okay, spread it all around here, and get this halfway full. We're almost there, and I just had my hands under the water, rubbing it along the bottom of the bathtub. There's still some uh, crystals to kind of screw them up. And having my face down over this, oh my goodness, it is like a five foot long pool of Vicks Vapor Rub. Even here, sitting on the edge of the tub, it's already clearing out the sinuses. Here we go. Nice and warm. Ooh, nice hot bath. Well, I kind of failed to calculate the proper displacement. <laughs> required by my body, so we've got some overflow water going on right now. Okay, now it's quieter and more peaceful. Everything's cleared out. The Vicks fumes did their job, and uh, they're not overwhelmingly intense. I was afraid it was kind of be, it was gonna be like burning the eyes, but no, it's not like that. I'll have my tea and meditate on things here for a minute. Mmm, cinnamon. Nice and relaxing to have this scent in the bath. I don't feel that the water feels in any way minerally or anything like that, or like it has any oils in it. Time to do a little reading with my Kindle Oasis, which is waterproof. Not that I'm gonna test that out, but just in case. All right, five minutes reading, that was enough. Well, the water's still warm and it's so relaxing, it's time for a short nap. If you'd like to have a bath with the Vapo bath, it's very relaxing, clears everything out. So whether you have a colder flu or whether you're just looking for some different type of new relaxing bath salt to use, I highly recommend this one right here. Goes for about $8. I'm thinking you probably get maybe about eight baths out of it. So pretty good deal. The last thing to see is after I take my nap and get out of the bath to see if I still produce the smell, if it's basically coated my body so that when I get in the bed, I still have those vapor fumes coming at me. Well, after draining the tub, the vapo rub smell wafted out of the bathroom and down both directions in the hallway. So everyone who walked through there noticed it right away. That smell really does carry. But how about me right now? I've gotten into bed under the covers and I thought maybe I would still be a vapo rub emitter, but no, it, I guess there's just a little bit in the water that dried on my skin and I don't really smell it, that smell coming off of me right now.
But boy, a hot mentholy bath is nice for relaxing and getting ready to go to sleep. I love this Vapo bath product and I'll be taking more baths with it. If you need the sinus clearing qualities, it's got that. And if you don't need it, it's just, it's a very comforting smell if it's not too strong. And that was my concern that um, when I got my, I snuggled down into the bath and got my face closer to the water that it might you know be a little bit searing to the eyes. But no, once you get the bathtub halfway full, it seems to dilute it just enough so that it's, it's comfortable and nice, but not overbearing. You can find out more about the Vicks Vapo bath at the link down below this video. And after a relaxing night of sleep, I'll see you on the next review. There are so many choices and you don't want to stress. You want your health food and home receiving only the best. That's what we're here for. We give honest reviews. Paris DX.